Welcome, one and all, to Scotch and Smoke Rings episode 497. Uh, uh, let me see what's better. That, or that, maybe. Now with this, now that. I am your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn here as always with suspender set to ma uh, maximum stun. Got a great show for you today. We are going to be playing Wolfenstein the New Colossus. So for those of you who, okay. So last week we played Wolfenstein the New Order and we got to the last boss and we had a great time. Well, by great time, I mean I died a lot and the boss was really hard. And there were three, two or three moments during the boss fight where I kind of rage quit. I gave up um, and yet was coaxed into coming back to the battle by the chat. So if you gave up on me, <laughs> <laughs> at any of the times I gave up on the game, then you missed that I did finally beat the boss to Wolfenstein the New Colossus, or Wolfenstein the New Order. I had to reduce the difficulty mode, <clears throat> but I did beat the boss. So we are now moving on to Wolfenstein the New Colossus, and I am looking forward to playing that. What happened to Fallout 76, asks Josh. I have never played Fallout 76 during my live show on Thursdays. Fallout 76 is what I play when I'm streaming on Mondays and Fridays, when I'm uh, just, when I have a live stream day of content on the channel. This is just my show. The show I've been doing for almost 10 years. Actually, it's probably over 10 years now. Uh, looking sharp there, man, says Wiley Page. Thank you. The coat is for a reason. Here, let me turn the music up. I, I can't. I can't even hear it. There. If that's too loud, let me know. Uh, look, it's it's snowing. I missed a video this week, and I'm sorry about that. I went on Twitter and let everybody know. But the reason I missed a video today is twofold. First, it was the longest case in all of L.A. Noir, and it ended up being an hour and 20 minutes long, that video that I published today. So I hope you enjoyed my latest L.A. Noir video. The video I published today, it's an hour and 20 minutes long. Uh, I, I did not skimp on any of the details. It's chock full of great storytelling and lore. And of course, uh, uh, your uh, my humble narration. But uh, yeah, so that in combination with the snow here in Seattle has really messed up my schedule. So because it has snowed a whole lot in the Seattle area, uh, schools have been canceled. My kids' schools have been canceled. So uh, I've, uh, we've had to, we haven't had the kids at school when I've expected them. So I've had to be home to help take care of the kids. And uh, also I wanted to play in the snow with my kids. We, we built a snowman. It's really their first snowman. Uh, Theo Gamer says, Ox the New Colossus is garbage. It's a spit in the face to the Wolfenstein fans. Bioshock 2, please. I, I am looking forward to playing uh, Bioshock 2. Uh, I really am. And, and I, I struggled with trying to decide which game I wanted to start playing today. But I'm genuinely curious as to how the story continues. I mean, we end... A, can I even talk about... Yeah, you guys should have been watching this this series. So, spoiler alert on the end of Wolfenstein: The New Order. If you don't want to hear how it ends, plug your ears, and I'll I'll make the international symbol of a spoiler alert is over by just waving my arms wildly. Okay, so spoiler alert now. Um, so at the very end, Bukowski sends the signal to fire upon the base, and apparently gets blown up. Right, but there's a sequel. How does that happen? I'm curious. I want to know. So we're going to be playing Wolfenstein, uh, the new Colossus today. Sort of give it a test run. See if we like it. See if the chat likes it. If it ends up being as horrible as some are saying, then we'll give it a miss. But it's got some good reviews, and I genuinely want to see how the story progresses. But we do, uh, I mean, I do want to know more about Bioshock. So we will be looking at that. Okay, spoiler alert over. Okay. <clears throat> So, Seven Craft Gaming says, hey, good luck out there. Hoping I can get a shout out, please. If not, that's okay. Using Super Chat to give me money is a great way for me to give you a shout out. Just saying. So, shout out to you. Thank you for the Super Chat. Prower says, what's the temperature in Seattle? It's uh, pretty, wow, my, my microphone is really, whoa, hello. Yeah, it's kind of, it's too far up there. Let me turn that down. Check, check. Clipping. 
Yep, it's, oh, that's what, oh, I'm getting some red in the signal. Ah, yeah, signal loud. Yeah, I normally don't scream this loud, but I just want to make, I'm yelling loud over here, and now I'm yelling, oh, that's really, that's really in the red. Okay, let me turn that down a little bit. Let's see. Maybe I should just stop yelling. How about that? Yeah, let's do, let's do that. I'm just going to stop yelling. Um, I don't know how cold it is. Let's see. In my office, it's only 53. But the, the reason I'm wearing multiple layers right now is because this, you know, it's only 7 o'clock my time. So the sun is going to continue to go down, and it's going to you know, get really cold. And I learned this last night when I was working on my L.A. Noir video. I was trying to smoke a cigar while working on my video, and I just got super cold. So I've got layers. I've got two coats on. On top of my bathrobe, on top of two shirts. I think I'll be okay. All right, I missed a lot of super chats. Mayhem Madness says, Love you, Ox. I've been watching you for a few months now, and your videos have helped me so much in the loss of my four year relationship. You're a great storyteller. Thank you, Mayhem Madness. I'm happy to have been a help. Jason says, Ox, it's my dear friend Country's birthday. Courtney's birthday? Because you spelled country C O U N T R Y. I'm assuming it's Courtney's birthday. Could you please give her a shout out? Absolutely, Jason. Shout out to Courtney or country. Either way, happy birthday. Okay. <clears throat> JP says, greetings from Windy, Ohio. Weird Beast says, is there going to be, is this going to be your smoking jacket? <laughs> oh, that's right. We talked about a smoking jacket during my impromptu live stream on, on Twitch a few days ago, didn't we? Uh, I, I should get a smoking jacket, shouldn't I? Uh, no, this is not going to be my regular smoking jacket. I wore this on the show a lot in the past. There was a moment in my, my life where I couldn't smoke indoors. And so I had to broadcast this program from my laptop across Wi-Fi from my car. <laughs> Thankfully, that did not last very long. And I am now able to smoke indoors because it's my house now. It's my house. And I'll smoke on it if I want to. All right, but you know what is important? We've got scotch. All right, I've got my glass. Let's get the scotch. Although it's not technically scotch, it's Irish today. It's Irish whis whiskey. We're drinking some Sexton single malt Irish whiskey. Okay, one thing about dressing in layers that's a problem is that it's hard to move. So I hope this doesn't impact my gameplay later on, but we'll try. Oh, and it's difficult to pour. There we go, but we succeeded, look at that. A handsome libation. Sean says it's so good. Are we talking about Colossus or my program? I'll take either. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm looking forward to Colossus, seeing how it goes. Okay. Uh, John says you're in for a wild ride. Uh, be sure and stick to it. Okay. Well, I, I hope... Uh, I've only had to stop live streaming one game. And that was la that was Outlast 2. I started, I, I, I got all the way through Outlast 1, live on the show, Oxhorn After Dark, Dark, it was called for a while. And, uh, you know, it was a bit much. But then I got Outlast 2, and I just couldn't. No, I stopped. A wonderful tip from Corey Wilson. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Oxhorn, keep up the great work, but don't overwork yourself. Anyway, enjoy the tip. That's a very generous tip. And don't worry, I won't overwork myself. I took... The day off on, well, I didn't take the day off, but I didn't get, okay. So I, I'll, I'll make sure to, to take appropriate breaks. How about that? Breaks as appropriate. But first, <clears throat> we got to light this thing on fire. <clears throat> the ink spots might not want to set the world on fire, but they would not be useful when it comes to cigars, because they, you do have to set on fire. This microphone keeps getting in the way of my cigar. Live streaming is not meant for smoking cigars, I think. <clears throat> Keel007, no, Keel single O and double seven says, are you ready for the snowstorm we're getting around the Puget Sound starting tomorrow? Yeah, Jason says it is Courtney, autocorrect issues. I thought it was Courtney. So that's why I gave Courtney a shout out and country. So now you, ne you need to make a friend named country. It's the only logical resource left. Uh, silver, <clears throat> whoa, and it flew off the screen. Uh, Keel, yeah, to answer your question, uh, yet, so we've got a big snowstorm hitting tomorrow. 
and it's supposed to dump 11 inches of snow on us. So I don't know how that's going to impact my live streams and my 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 show, my uh, my lore videos. We'll see. We're gonna stock up on supplies. You know, lots of cram, Blamco mac and cheese, purified water, of course, pork and beans, and then we'll be okay. We can wait out the winter. The Dark Sheriff says sign language is the least spoken language in the wor in the world. I bet you're right. Although Morse code might be a contender. If it counts as a language, I don't know if it does. Silver Husky Gamer says, Hey, Oxhorn, I love the way your office looks. How did you get it that nice? I like some pointers on decorating my office and my house. Well, it's I'm, f I'm flattered because I feel like it's far from finished. <laughs> it's uh, it's It needs a lot of work. We It took a long time. To, so if you've been following the program, you'll remember when we first moved into this house, it was completely bare. I, I, I broadcast from this room filled with boxes for months. Uh, we've been slowly unpacking and finally got our furniture, and I'm finally starting to get some fallout props to decorate my cabinet back there. It's all coming together. It's just taken a long time. <laughs> Laura says, Corey Wilson, thank you for feeding the Ox family. It is indeed kind. Thank you very much, Corey. Mayhem Madness with a wonderful tip. Thank you, Mayhem. Says, can't wait to get... A more generous tip next month. I don't mind helping out one of my favorite people. Can I get a top 10 favorite games if Fallout only pick one? Well, that's very kind. Top 10 favorite games. I'm going to... Well, okay. I can't pick a favorite Fallout. And I've said that many times on this program. Because they're all so good in their own way. Uh, so now I need to list games that I play that I like. And this is tricky because I honestly don't play a lot of games. The games I'm familiar with, I've mostly played on this channel. So, um, but there are games I've played in my past that I really enjoyed. Dark Age of Camelot consumed a, a great number of my years. A great many years. To the memory of those years. Um... I'm really enjoying The Last Voyage of the Obra Dinn. And maybe I'll talk more about that in a bit. So, uh, some foreshadowing there, maybe. Accept Madness with a tip. Thank you very much. Prower says, two weeks and one day until Metro Exodus. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. So, and then pick it up with a wonderful tip. Thank you very much, pick it up. Grievous says, keep up the great work, and just a heads up, there are two scenes with nudity in this game that I remember. Yes, I did my research before purchasing the game just to make sure that I would be able to act quickly enough. And both scenes give you a bit of a warning before they happen, and I think that's going to give me plenty of time to pause the game, change the broadcast to my face only, so that you can at least see my reaction. But it'll have sound effects. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, uh, Metro Exodus. I'm extremely excited about Metro Exodus. And um, we, we've we already played the first two Metro games on this channel. Metro and then Metro Last Night. They're organized on the homepage of my channel in the uh, full gameplays. The full stories of uh, broadcasts. Uh, they, they were all uh, Scotch and Smoke Rings episodes. So for each episode, you'll have to skip halfway through it to get to the gameplay. But um, I played both of those games, loved every minute of it. They were fantastic. So I'm looking forward to Metro Exodus. And uh, we're, it, it just happens to coincide with really kind of the end of the content for Fallout 76 that, that we can access in the game. I've done all of the quests in Fallout 76, completed the main story, and I think we've almost discovered every single location. So uh, we're running out of content to discover in Fallout 76. Still plenty of lore videos to do. But in terms of live stream content, there's not a, a whole lot left. And so I think Metro Exodus is going to be coming out in just the nick of time. We'll sort of do a transition at around that time from Fallout 76 live streaming to Metro Exodus live streaming. That's the plan so far. Ajax says, Hey, Ox, it's yours truly. Lol, how have you been, Ox? I missed the last stream, and I was pretty mad, but I made it here just after a long day of animating, and oh boy, my hand hurts. Cheers. Uh, cheers to you. Animating. That's your job. Wow. Sounds like a lot of fun. 
Something I considered doing for a while there. Prius says, while drifting amongst the stars, will you play A, Fly Me to the Moon, B, Hooked on a Feeling, or C, Space Oddity? Uh, I, I guess A, Fly Me to the Moon, Let Me Drift Amongst the Stars. That's what I'm assuming. All right. Corey says, oh, thanks, guys, with a tip. <laughs> very kind, very generous. All right. <clears throat> Can you do a Vault 87 video, please? Well, sir, don't pull the rug out from under my feet, but it's coming. So uh, I think I can say without giving away too much of my content schedule that uh, we're going to be doing quite a lot of Fallout 3 videos in the near future. There's a lot of Fallout 3 to get through, and I plan to get through all of it. So if you like Fallout 3, you're going to be happy. Stay tuned for more of that. Wellingham says, uh, or Wellingham says, your shows are the highlight of my week, Oxhorn. You're a great guy and a great YouTuber. This month is a great month for me personally, for I have Metro Exodus and another game I'm looking forward to. I'm also excited about Metro Exodus, and you're extremely kind. Thank you for the tip and for watching every week. Except Madness says, your walkthrough saved my life in Fallout a lot. <laughs> well, good, good. You're welcome. Um, there's a lot of wonderful information out there that helped me put the videos together. All right, I'm going to light this cigar or I'll never get to it. Pick it up, 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 says, Hey, Oxhorn, you should do some weed and scotch. Smoke a fatty. Also, I love your voice. Well, thank you. Um, f the, the fatties of, of weed sort of thing the the joints and the um the whatever they're called the reefer not really my cup of tea <clears throat> so to speak i'm more of a coffee drinker i do occasionally like tea but not tea if it's a euphemism for wheat or reefer <clears throat> so uh it's i you know god bless those who enjoy it and partake but it's not it's not a hobby of mine i'm i'm perfectly satisfied with my my cigars All right. Oh, where'd my mouse pointer go? There we go. Uh, Kiel says, do you think a Fallout movie series would work if there was a good writing, directing, lore, and good actors? I mean, it's it's always possible for something for for something like that to work. I hope no one ever tries to make a Fallout movie. Um, only because Hollywood doesn't get games. They don't get games. And it's almost impossible to make a good movie without Hollywood. It's not impossible. It's almost impossible. But uh, I, I think that the odds would be stacked against any Fallout game being good. Um, you know, we learned that with the Warcraft movie. I was apprehensive about the Warcraft movie, but I had hope. The Warcraft movie killed my hope of any future video game movie being good. Um, but hey, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Silver Husky Gamer says, any tips for a YouTuber that's having a hard time commentating? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I, I don't really have an easy time commentating during gameplay. Sometimes I'll struggle with finding something to think, to, to talk about. Because uh, usually I'm basically just, what I try to do is I try to transfer my internal monologue to external. Because <laughs> when I'm, you know, exploring a ruin or reading lore or something, there are thoughts going through my head and, I, and I'm and i trying to make decisions. And when I'm live streaming, I just try to vocalize those decisions so that everybody watching kind of knows what my internal monologue is. And that's what I do with Fallout 76, you know? I, it's almost like I'm creating the, the lore video live in front of people and, okay, now we're gonna turn to the left and let's explore what's in this suitcase. And oh, we're finding some, uh, a negligee. Oh, that's interesting, what does that mean? You know, just sort of stream of conscious sort of thing. <clears throat> um, I don't know, that's how I go about it. Mark Eric says, hey, uh, Oxhorn, I'm a college professor and I know one of my students watches this religiously. Can you please tell Nick that there's a quiz on Monday? Oh, Nick. Oh, did you let your teacher know that you watch Scotch and Smoke Rings? Oh, hopefully that doesn't get you in trouble. I'm sorry, Mark, but I do plan to be streaming pretty late tonight. We're going to be getting into Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. It's a brand new game. I sometimes... 
you know, lose track of time when I start a new game. So I, I can't promise that he'll be to bed on time. But, hey, the quiz is Monday, right? So he's got the whole weekend. All right. Well, Nick and Mark, I'm sure you'll work it all out. And I'm sure Nick will do excellent on the quiz on Monday. Thank you both for watching, by the way. Oh, that's a first. That's great. Welcome to member Zachary. Good to have you on the program, Zachary. Vault Dude says, since I'm late, one, why are you bundled up? Two, did you get any new, any new props? I'm bundled up because I'm cold. <clears throat> I've got my window open. It's snowing. We're, we've got a big snowstorm coming tomorrow, and it's going to be really cold. Two, new props? Yes, I'm glad you asked. I forgot to show it off. So... All right, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Yes, okay. 3D prop works on Etsy. Many people have been asking for the name of the Etsy shops that craft all my stuff. And um, many of them, I, I had... I worked with them so long ago that I forgot and I lost track of their names. But I kept his name because his, his work is so great. So here is a nuke, a nuke grenade from Fallout 4. And uh, as you can see, it's not 3D printed. Uh, the, the guy I just said, he's a professional prop maker and he did an excellent job. It looks like a real nuke grenade and he made me this. The uh, Pip-Boy 3000. This is the Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas version of the Pip-Boy. And uh, you can't buy an officially licensed version. Uh, it, when Fallout 3 came out, they had a pewter one. It was really heavy. You couldn't put it on. And it, it didn't have... It, it was a clock. It was basically just a clock. And I believe the buttons were the wrong way on that particular printing as well. That's the closest they ever came to making the uh, Fallout 3... Pip Boy. Now you can find 3D printed ones on Etsy, and I think there's even a really flimsy plastic plastic one that you can buy. But this one is really well made, and it's not 3D printed, so there are no ugly scan lines. It also has power. I haven't charged it yet, but inside you can see there's a little charging battery uh, because the buttons work. They do light up, and the knobs all work. So it has the electronics inside. And uh, yeah, I'm just really thrilled. This this is the final Pip-Boy that I need to complete my Pip-Boy collection. You see the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy on the shelf behind me. The Fallout 76 Pip-Boy is on the ground below. And then I had somebody reproduce their uh, interpretation of the Fallout 1 and 2 Pip-Boys. So I have that as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to putting this on my shelf. This is my latest prop. It's, uh, it's just turned out really well. It's got the classic olive drab paint scheme. And he's even got little... little uh, paint scratches on the edges where the paint scratches would go. Wonderfully done. So that's the latest prop. Uh, wow, lots of comments while I was talking about that. Greaseman says, Hi, Ox. Just wanted to say I love your channel. Thank you so much for watching. New member, Wampus Court. Good to have you on the program. Ajax says, Owen Ox would be a sin if I didn't mention it. Very nice coat you're wearing. Is it a trench coat? Yeah, this is my rain trench coat. It's not a full length trench coat, it just goes like just beyond, beyond my knees. Welcome, new member Zachary. And new member Silver Poet. Alien Face says, Can't wait to see more Fallout 3. I enjoy hearing your thoughts. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Will do. Chris Breyer, long time watcher, but recent sub. Love your vids. Also, check your email to send you a message about doing some art for you. Enjoy the booze and cigar. Thank you very much, Chris. I'll be sure to check my email. Stephen A. Scotch and Smoke Rings. What? is what gets me through my Thursdays at work. Knowing I can come home and watch PS also just picked up a pillow in your shop. You're the best. <laughs> well, thank you. Glad you got a pillow from my shop. Lots of cool stuff on the shop. 
Jason M says, Evening, buddy. What are your thoughts on Metro Exodus moving from Steam to Epic? Uh, well, it's... I have some complicated thoughts on that because I was actually thinking about this the other day. <clears throat> and I know that many would consider this to be a huge cons uh, a scandal, really. Scandal, how could they do this? It's horrible, moving from Steam to Epic. And uh, it's it, it kind of is, but not really. So on one hand, I'm on a personal level frustrated that they moved from Stream to Epic because I don't use the Epic launcher thing at all. I don't want to. I've, I'm comfortable with, with Steam. I've been using it for a long time, and so from my perspective, I would prefer to get it on Steam. Um, that said, I also believe in healthy competition, and I therefore don't object to the existence of the Epic Launcher or the Bethesda.net Launcher or Battle, Battle.net or any of the other ones out there. The problem, and here's the problem, is the exclusivity. To do it the right way, for competition to truly exist, and for the consumer to be put first, the publishers or developers wouldn't sign exclusivity contracts with particular platforms. Because this is the whole console thing, right? There are so many great games that are coming out, but only for consoles, that we PC gamers don't get access to. And of course, there are plenty of games, PC games, that console players don't get access to. And this is all part of the console agreements that developers will sign in order to get a big bonus. You know, they'll, they'll, only, they'll promise to only put it out on the PlayStation 4, or they'll promise to only put it, put it out on, on the Xbox, uh, and they sign a big deal for that in, in favor for promotion. And the consumer loses out. Like, I'd love to play Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd love to broadcast it on this channel. But it's not, at the moment, available on the PC, and that's a bit of a problem. So if, we, if, if we've already got that problem between consoles and the PC, to have all of these other launchers that are signing exclusivity agreements, we're having the same thing, only on PC. Now, you're going to have all these games that only appear on this launcher and that launcher, and in order to play it, you got to download that launcher, and they're going to have different packages for each of the launchers, and I have to figure out which package is going to be the best. I actually just went through this one trying to, de to, um, to decide whether or not I wanted to purchase... Uh, uh, the new Colossus. So I took a look at it on the Bethesda launcher, and it was 60 bucks. And I was like, wow, well, okay, it's for the show. But the, the game has been out for a while, really? And when it was released in 2017, why is this game 60 bucks? So that, I mean, I was confused about that, so I started do doing a little bit of digging. Turned up on Steam, 1999. Special promo. Uh, only until February 11th, I think. They were, they were selling it for $19.99. There was a bundle where you could get the add-ons for $14.99. The add-ons weren't even available on the Bethesda launcher. And I'm sitting there going, well, of course, of course I'm going to choose the Steam one. And that is the choice that's important. And that's the choice that gives the consumer power, right? I had to choose whether or not I wanted to, to buy it on the Bethesda launcher or Steam. But this whole exclusivity thing with Metro Exodus robs the consumer of that choice. You can now only get it from the Epic launcher, which... You know, if you give all of the power for the game to one, one launcher, um, we're not going to have as good of deals. It's possible that it won't be supported for quite as long. It's just a whole lot of things start start happening. So, on one hand, I like the free market, and so I'm glad that these extra launchers are, and, and marketplaces exist. I don't want them to go away, but I hate it when they sign exclusivity agreements. I don't think that is putting the consumer first. Weird Beard says, just bought New Colossus. Brand new for $19.99. 60 is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. they were selling it for 60 Corey says, what is the enemy that gives you the most trouble in Fallout 76? No Scorch Beast. Mine is the Assaultron and her spamming head laser. The Assaultron is pretty frustrating, but if you knock out her legs, she becomes much more manageable. Then she has to crawl around on her arms. She still has the head laser. But you can get away from her. Um, crickets, I guess. They're tough little buggers. The crickets in Fallout 76 and in Nuka World were really tough. Welcome, new member Joshua. Good to have you here. 
Vault Dude says, so I started trying to get into Vegas to work on Windows 10 and I use your list. Man, is it complicated and old school modding. I can see why you're having issues getting it to work long ago. Yeah, um, I mean, the, my issues with modding Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas never end. Um, I managed to make Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas mostly stable, but only on one machine. I can't play either of them on my new machine uh, because, I, I don't know, just on a combination of Windows 10 and my i9 uh, CPU or the SLI card, just something is making both of those games unstable, even though I use the same settings on this new machine as I used on my old machine. Uh, but yeah, uh, modding and getting these older games working on new machines is pretty tricky. McChazter says, Hey, Oxhorn, I'm currently playing Tale of Two Wastelands and watching the stream anyway. Hello's from, uh, hello from Minnesota, uh, all, which also is bombarded with the snow menace. Wow, this is, we I, I understand Minnesota, but this is weird for Seattle. We never get snow. Welcome, new member, Silver Poet. Ajax says, uh, Damox, we've got a full house tonight. 1,200 viewers, that's insane. Let's give him a good show tonight. Yeah. No, we will. Do, do we really have that many right now? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. So for those who are new to the program, this is the show. For, for the past 10 years, I sit here in front of the camera and smoke cigars and drink scotch, and then we play the game, so... If you're just here for the game, stay tuned. If you're just here for me, well, I hope you're having a good time. Play Skyrim again, says Silver Husky Gamer. Um, maybe, but I don't know. I beat Skyrim, killed Alduin, you know, the dragon shouter, dragonborn, right? With the dragon shout, the Fusro Da. I did that. It was good. I don't know. I'm, I, I kind of am... am leaving fantasy behind. I was really into World of Warcraft back in the day. Great game, you know. And, uh, of course, Tolkien. Absolutely love it. And C.S. Lewis. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, fantasy isn't doing doing it for me anymore. It's, I, 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 maybe I'm bored. I think that's it. I think I'm bored of dragons and magic and arrows. And swords. I think I'm bored. Uh, well, you know, I've never, got, I've never gotten a Game of Thrones for the same reason. But post-apocalyptic stuff, hey, I don't know why, but that's really cool. I like that still. So I'm still doing post-apocalyptic stuff. Zartu says, sad day, none of my comment. I suppose even Saturday that that's the only one I read. <laughs> Sorry. Can't read them all. Lots of people watching. Joshua Tony says, hey, Ox, just want to say I love hearing you sing during the Lonesome Road Adventure. We're falling to Vegas. I, I thought it was fitting. It was one of those things where I didn't know if it was going to work. I figured I would go for it. If it didn't work, it didn't work. And I, th I think it ended up working. Drink, Ox, says Chris. Oh, right. Thanks. Keep forgetting. The name flew off the screen, but I, I briefly read somebody saying that um, the whole conversation between Father Elijah, Christine, and um, Veronica would be fascinating, and that video needs to be made. Uh, wow, that, that would be fascinating. The problem, and here's the big problem, is that we never find any footage of Father Elijah directly communicating with either Christine or Veronica. We hear about Father Elijah through Veronica, and we hear about Christine through Veronica. But both Father Elijah and Veronica, or I'm sorry, Christine, appear in the, the, the Dead Money DLC. And once you beat the DLC, they disappear from the world forever. So they never get to interact with Veronica. We can go and bring Father's last words to Veronica. But uh, that's, that's about, a, about all we can do. So I covered everything, every scrap of lore related to that trio in my Dead Money DLC um, and in my Veronica video. So watch those two videos, my profile on Veronica and the Dead Money DLC, and you'll you'll get it all. Now, should I condense that all down into one video? Maybe. Maybe that would play really well. Um, I mean, I would be covering old ground, though. 
And that's the thing. Is it worth it to kind of retread the same waters I've already traversed uh, in the hopes that I, I make a hit video? I don't know. Uh, there's just so much new stuff I could do that I'm, I might want to focus on that. Sebastian says, Ox, why do you look like a short but tough mafia boss right now? Short? I am not short. I am 5'11", thank you. That is an average height for a male. I'm, I'm perfectly fine being average. My height is right there with most, most men. I'm not six foot. My brother is. My brother is taller than me. My younger brother, my baby brother, grew to be a giant. Don't get it. But I'm not short. 5'11". Ajax says, everyone, wow, dragons are insane and cool, and I also like wizards and knights. Ox, you know, the thought of total nuclear annihilation is fun. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Buff Canuck says, I loved your old World Blue series. Great job. Thank you very much. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, Cutter Webb says, have you played Oblivion, Ox? No, I never did. I never, I never got into the Elder Scrolls at all, really. Um... I, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of not into fantasy anymore. That may change. We'll see. Absolute Horse says the roads are frozen up here in Kansas. Trying my best to stay warm. Here's the tip. Love the vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Absolute Horse. I hope you stay warm. <laughs> Buff Connect says, lol, like good fellows are the godfather. I am bundled up because I'm freezing. If that makes me look like a mob boss, then so be it. I'm just cold. Laura says, my dad was only 5'9". I'm just 5'4". Thomas Dornick says the average is 5'8". Is the, is the average really 5'8"? I, I, I suppose that it depends on nationality, too. I always thought that I, my height was average. Ajax says, are you interested in Star Wars? I mean, it's kind of fantasy or science fiction, but hey, it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope it doesn't get me in trouble, but... Honestly, I'm not into Star Wars. It's okay. I've watched most of the movies. I haven't watched any of the new ones. Solo says, Hey, Axel, are you going to stream Cyberpunk 2077 on release? I will if they have a streamer-friendly option because there's a lot of nudity in Cyberpunk 2077, which I can't stream on YouTube. Um, so that's the problem. We'll, we'll see. I know there's nudity in the game I'm about to play, but at least it only hop happens twice. There's a set limit. There's It happens twice. I can... Pause the game to avoid that on the stream. But with Cyberpunk 2077, I think it's pretty per pervasive. Uh, so that's the problem. I'd still love to stream it, but uh, I don't know if I can stream it on YouTube or Twitch. Um, anyway, as for Star Wars, no, uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not big into Star Wars. It's too magical for me. I mean, it's it's kind of like a fantasy. It's just a, a fan. It's a fantasy with guns. And uh, you know, I, I know the same can be said for Fallout. I mean, ghouls are kind of magical. They don't really make sense, really. Things like that, sure. But I, I don't know. Star Wars never really gripped me. <clears throat> Commander Zanian... Zan, Commander Zanonymous says, Ox, are you half Jewish and I'm half American? No, I'm, uh, I'm just... American. Uh, I, I did a 23andMe test a while ago, and I'm, I'm just, I, I'm European. <laughs> English and Irish is what I am. Pretty much everything about me. <laughs> Why is my cigar keep going out? Hey, 
Hayden Culver says, what are your plans for the future? I assume you're talking about the future of my channel. And uh, the answer to that is a lot. Uh, we're going to be going through uh, live streaming of Fallout. Um, I'm sorry, Metro Exodus. That is uh, the near future. I'm going to be doing a, a series on the full story of Fallout 2 and Fallout 3. I've got a lot more Fallout 3 lore videos to do. I need to do the full story of Fallout 4 and Far Harbor. So I still have those videos to do. Then we've got Fallout Tactics and maybe Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's still a whole lot of content left to produce. But in the immediate future, we've got Wolfenstein the New Colossus. Mayhem says, I would really like a more thug-based Fallout or a more New York... Well, flew off the screen. Ga or a more gangster like New York City. The Triggermen are pretty close to that. And they were fun. I, I enjoyed the Triggermen. I should do a video on the Triggermen. Try the Mass Effect original trilogy. I played Mass Effect Andromeda. And I know that that game is not a good representation of the, of the series. I know I understand that. But, man, I did not like it. Um, just wasn't my thing. Sergio says, Hey, Oxhorn, I absolutely love your video streams, and you're my favorite content creator here, here on YouTube. Have you heard of Atomic Heart? I think it looks good. Well, thank you very much. I haven't heard of that game, but it's something I can Google in a bit. Vincent Malia says, love your content. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Gabriel says, Ox, are you going to play Far Cry The New Dawn? Uh, I don't know. When the latest, far, the last Far Cry came out, I was uh, interested in it and considered it, but I just never got around to it. Maybe something I'll take a look at in the future. But there are still so many different uh, franchises that I'm wanting to play. You know, we covered the original Rage, and uh, when Rage 2 comes out, I'd like to tackle that as well. Jacob says, Ox, you subbed to PewDiePie. Uh, no, I, uh, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube. I publish a lot on YouTube, but I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Hayden says, can you actually make smoke rings, or is it just a saying? I can make smoke rings. Nocturne Chanson says, post-apocalyptic stories are the new Western. Maybe they are. I like Western. Ajax says, why do I feel like if you lived in Ireland in the 1920s, you'd be a small farm owner with a family-owned pub in town where you spent most of your time with your brother drinking and just pondering it? <laughs> I could do that. I could live that life. James says, looking dapper as ever, Mr. Ox. Thank you very much, James. Vellingham says, hey, Ox, no spoilers, uh, but you get the choice to either save Wyatt or Fergus in New Colossus. I understand you beat New Order with Wyatt. Do you think you could switch over to Fergus for this game? What? We have to make that choice again? We made that choice at the very beginning of the new order. Are you sure we make that choice again in Colossus? Oh, well, no. I mean, I think if I have to make that choice again, I'll choose Wyatt again. Only because I know how this, it, it, would, it would get confusing. I know how the story has gone in the new order with the Wyatt timeline. <clears throat> if I suddenly switch to the Fergus timeline, that'll mess everything up, won't it? I'll get confused. I, I won't know where I'm at in the story. And especially if I'm doing a series on it, if I'm broadcasting it, I, I think I'll probably, if I have to choose again, I, I think I'll probably choose Wyatt again just to see how that story continues. Wow, I didn't know I had to make that choice again. Thank you for telling me. Taylor the Nerd says, yep, you have to do it again. Oh, man. 
Why? What? <laughs> I, I understand making a difficult choice, but making the same difficult choice in two different games? Okay. Uh, Zartu says, hey, Alexion, you're not going to make us wait for the end of L.A. Noir, are you? I just finished episode 12. My favorite character so far is the car salesman. <laughs> Sharp as a bag of wet mice. Epic. I know. Isn't he great? Their little side conversations are some of the best. When you're interrogating them, you just got to wait long enough and they'll have something snide to say. Um, and, and then in, in the video that I published today, there was a good one where a lady says, um, she says, uh, Be uh, Beverly, get this cop a drink. He's beginning to look gormless. That tickled me. I was like, oh, oh, she called me gormless. Man, laying it down rough. Okay. <laughs> No, this, the characters in L.A. Noir are amazing. Um, no, I'm not going to make you wait for L.A. Noir. As you've, I hope you've been able to tell that I've been ramping up my L.A. Noir lore video production. Uh, we're getting through it. And the reason is because there's another sort of detective-style game that I want to cover on this channel. But I can't cover it until I finish L.A. Noir. That wouldn't be fair. Uh, all of my Fallout viewers would be like, wow, what happened? Now, now Oxhorn's channel has become a, a, a detective show. And a film noir show when we, we, we sub for Fallout. So I'm trying to keep it mostly Fallout while exploring other titles slowly. Brutalian says, how would you feel about a post-apocalyptic world with a mix of tech, guns, grit, and magic? I love the first three and dislike the last three. I don't know why it is, but when, when it comes to storytelling, I find magic to be too convenient. I, I understand that from a narrative perspective, most of the technology that we find in the Fallout universe is essentially magic. I mean, teleportation for the Institute, that's magic, right? They don't explain how it works. They just said, oh, we invented this technology. That's magic. No, I get that. I get that. But having a, a realistic explanation for something helps me suspend my disbelief, thinking that the people of the Institute, who presumably are the smartest people left alive on Earth, spent hundreds of years perfecting this teleportation technology makes it more believable to me. For someone to just say, oh, I have conjured the powers of the eternal Earth Golem. It's, it, it, it shatters my ability to, to suspend disbelief a little bit. And I think that might be partially why I, I gravitate away from fantasy. I mean, that said, Tolkien was a masterpiece. I mean... I've, I've read The Lord of the Rings, I can't tell you how many times, and his Silmarillion. It's just masterfully done. That said, I'm, I still gravitate away from fantasy these days. Welcome new member, Hungry Koala. Good to have you on the program. Daniel says, love your vids. Thank you very much. Riley Kowarski says, do you have the Fallout Mini Nuke collectible? I have a number of Fallout Mini Nukes. Um, oh, here's one. I don't like, I don't like any of the Mini Nukes that you get um from that are official the 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 best ones the the highest quality ones the ones that are made to scale are all you know fan made from uh Etsy that I've been able to discover so far Valingham says you get to choose through a flashback and the only bring up the important story events involving BJ Blaskowitz you wouldn't be missing anything well, I, I know you really want me to, and I appreciate it, but it would be jarring to me because if I choose Fergus and suddenly he appears in the story, and I don't, I don't know his side of the story up until now, it, um, it's going to make me wonder what I missed, and I can't go back and play that now. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to choose Wyatt just so that I have a cohesive narrative from beginning to end. Ashley says, hey, Ox, have you found any new lore on the rest of the world in Fallout 76? No. No, almost all of the lore we find in 76 is about West Virginia or Appalachia. James says, Ox is modern-day Al Capone about to make a hit list. Oh, yeah, you know me. Okay. It's about time we get ready for some Wolfenstein and the New Colossus. Smoke ring. Okay.
Hold on. My mustache is too, too big. There we go, right? Any news on the old television? Man, it's all bad news. I hate to say it. I'm pretty upset. I, I, I paid a pretty penny for that TV and it doesn't work. So I feel, I feel shafted. <clears throat> uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it, but it's not looking good. Taz says, Ox, when do you plan to add a new shirt? It's going to be a while. I am trying to find n a new artist. Um, n the artist that I had hired previously, I had to go to college. So he's no longer available. So I need to find a new artist. Ox drink. Wow. You guys just want me to get plastered here. Okay. All right. So let's migrate over to my other computer so that we can play. While I'm playing the game, I will be able to read your chat, but I'm going to have fewer opportunities to answer questions just due to the nature of focusing on the game. But I'll still do my best to uh, answer as many as I can. Here we go. Oh, don't want to knock over my water. Oh, is the camera a bit low? Yeah, it looks that way. There, how's that better? Am I centered or do I just go this way a little bit? Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm excited. So we just beat the new order. This is the latest game published 2017. Picks up right where the new order leaves off. Let's check it out. What happens next? New game. I had to test them. Um... Okay, difficulty. <laughs> we'll do what I did last time, bring them on. So last time I did bring them on throughout the entire game until the last boss where I had to bump it down to don't hurt me. But we'll do bring them on. And uh, looks like there's another one called Mein Lieben. And it's locked out. We can't do it. I guess we have to beat the game first to unlock M Mein Lieben. It's agony to dream like this. And wake up to reality. Fergus Reed, one of the old guard. You're still breathing, you dummy bastard. Hey, you're tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Hey, doggy! Catch! Private Wyatt, good kid. Uh, see you on the flip side, Captain. General Death's Head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. We eliminate the general, we cut the head off the crude war machine. That's him, isn't it? That's Deathhead! Help me make a choice. Is Luke to the one you would have me dissect? Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Oh, did I see? I think I see someone. Her name is Anya. She takes good care of me. The boy David says, come on, please. The USA. Her. They surrendered 12 years ago when Nazi atom bombed their country. 
On a train to Berlin. Ich bin Obersturmbahnführer Engel. Sehr schöne arische Züge. Okay, vote. Let's vote. Fergus the resistance Wyatt. fighters, where are they? Give me your vote in the chat. BJ That's how I'll make the decision. Caroline, Wyatt. you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, they think the war is over. That we are weak. Don't have the guts to oppose them. But as always, they are wrong. Set. Roth, according to official records, has been detained and sent off to a forced labor camp. You said Roth. I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Set Roth? Your does you should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. I hope you'll find what you seek, my friend. My name is Bombate. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. No one leaves my camp! Max Huss! Mr. Max! Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Das Yichid is an ancient, mystical society. We invent things, the technology, the oh, development. No. Das Yichid is centuries ahead of anything okay. you've ever seen or imagined. Take us back to Berlin, Blaskovich. And your old friend Frau Eng was leading the attack. Death said must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. You know what you have here, Captain? This is the Evers Hammer, the crown jewel of the Nazi u boat League. Get inside the compound, fast as you can. My death head off the face of the earth. Death head. Wyatt Just wins. That man long ago. Wait, by a landslide. Wow. <laughs> Captain, we are in position. The nuclear cannon is on. Permission to fire. <sighs> You're clear. Okay, I read your comment about the volume. Uh, new game, so we'll have to do some re reconfiguring. I just turned the game volume down a little bit, so let me know if that helps. Okay, we're to the game. Oh, I remember that. won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh my boy, he hurt you so bad. Just rest. And heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice for me. Here we go. Let's put subtitles on. Voice volume is really low. Uh, subtitles. All. Okay. Captain, Captain Blaskowitz. It's a good trait, mine. It's patience. I have an endless supply. I wonder which will prevail, your stubbornness or my patience. The task is simple, really. You need only look to the one you would have me choose. I await your selection. Sacrifice Wyatt to save Fergus. Sacrifice Fergus. Go on, Captain, make a choice for me. The viewers chose Fergus. Anya, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way. William. Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? Oh, gosh, his intestines are showing. Hold him in. Put your hands there. <laughs> That's not good. Get him in the helicopter. Come on. Oh, Blessing. <laughs> to have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. Poor guy. Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Bombate, we are out. This Fire. is quite an extended yes, uh, oh, intro. He's bleeding out. Go faster. 
Nexus! And the great warmth washing over me. Towel. I think the sky's on fire. Please don't die. Caroline, he's dying. Press. He's turning blue. Bombate, we'll need a gurney at the hangar bay. ETA 90. Death seconds. at the gates again. Howling my name. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. Uh-oh. Let me show you something, Billy. My father told me if I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. Oh, shit. It must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Uh -oh. Sophia! Mother. Am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? And? You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no. Mother. I'm going to hell. Pull, pull, Bombate. More. Uh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines off. Whatever it takes, Seth, please! Stay oh. with us, Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. He Give doesn't need those intestines. Give me anyone for the gift blood! Now! Everyone! We need blood donors right now! You Just extra biomatter. Double time! It's Russia, yeah! Oh. Fierce! Oh. I need light! Stay down, keep quiet, he's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way. He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. Oh, my gosh. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! Okay. I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Uh, don't hate me, YouTube. It's not my fault, okay? I not live like this. I cook. Oh, man, I I'm going to get in trouble. I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not the only one struggling, right? You should have shut down the business when my father told you to. Whoops. You are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I so married this a man is his who father. would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not, will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or I'll shut it for you. <laughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured Gee your father'd whiz. be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away! No, no, no! Aw, oh. oh, man. <laughs> you want great stick! Not the dog! <laughs> Okay, what's with this I game? I want to kill Nazis. Closet. Come on. Make me sick to look at you. Ha! Keep them coming, candy ass. Can't throw worth a shit. Face. 
Oh yeah. You got boy. Yeah, yeah, yes, schmuck. No. You are so goddamn weak. They're going to pick on you. They will break you. They will make you eat dirt. And what are you going to do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. He's a kid, man. Come on. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Oh. Recover okay. your strength. Back to the present. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. The Kreisau Circle is rising. I will need you by my side. And we make our move. Oh! This is Can a development. Bessie, dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you're such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, okay. you got to make hard decisions. All right. And sometimes you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. Wow. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. And killing That's the right. dog helps because... Now, shoot her. Shoot her! <laughs> oh no, I missed. You are so feeble, just like your mother. Oh. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Captured Nazi U-boat. Eva Hammer. 1961, somewhere in the Atlantic. Who is that? Is that me? Is that me? Whoa. The old and the weak are doomed. Okay, cool. Well, wheelchair bound Blaskowitz is about to wreak some havoc. Anything in here I can get? Okay, you all right there, buddy? It's you. Take this. They're looking for you. Oh, shit. Here they come. No, 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 get back. This is our U boat now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. <laughs> I can't believe this. Blaskovitz is running around in a wheelchair and killing Nazis in a submarine. This is great. <laughs> okay. Let's get some armor. Oh yeah. Concept. What is that? Okay, I don't know what that does. We'll find out what that does. I got a one-handed Uzi, and I'm in my wheelchair, but it's okay because I'm killing Nazis, and that makes me happy. Headshot. Sweet. I get rewarded for headshots. I'll take it. Is that the, 
No, these are different guys. So wait, is this is this the submarine that we That's captured right. in the last game? I guess I don't understand how we got here. something I can shoot it can wheelchairs do stairs nope but look at that there's something back there how do I get back there there's something glowing back there can't go back there All right, see, there's something glowing back there and there's a little passage. Did I miss out on a passage? Sorry, I want to discover the secrets. <laughs> I want to see if I missed anything. Give me just a second. Is there a hatch somewhere down here? There's a hatch, I can't do anything with it though. Thwarted by stairs, yep. Killing lots of Nazis, but can't get past the stairs. Okay. Nope, looks like I can't. So I had to go back just to check. Looks like I can't. So let's take the lift. Where's the scotch and smoke rings? Well, sir, I'd hate to disappoint. Cheers, bottoms up. I love how he calls me. Okay, now, come to me. Right. What was that? Be careful, the floor is very wet. Means the system is working. Come. come. <laughs> That's how you tell the system is working? The blood on the floor? <clears throat> quick, quick, Man, quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 Two, three, I'll be those a new piece of track. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya, to see you out of there. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was, uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, sir. Ingrid, you know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You, 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 you might have difficulties to, to, to urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau Engel. Uh, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth. And today she found you. The Nazis breached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the <laughs> others. I have to go. No. No, Hackman is them I told you no. Said, help me find the... Sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. An ox? An ox? There are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map for to show you where the traps are. Put them to good use for the Fakakte Fascist. Okay, be careful. He tries to tiptoe through. Oh. 
try not to get killed if you don't mind. Off you go. All right, I'll do my best. I know your work is uh, at risk. Frau Angle. You're hunting me. So, Frau Angle. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. We killed her boyfriend on camera in front of her face in our last live stream. So, if you don't mind, I think I'll avoid stealth for now. I am, after all, in a wheelchair. Doubt that makes a lot of sense. Dead end. Oh, those are for his traps. Interesting. Well, down we go. maxed out on stuff, so. Ooh, hold to inspect. Oh, that's how we read notes. World condemns murder of General Strass. Berlin, the 25th of February, 1961. During a televised broadcast yesterday transmitted worldwide, the beloved Führer addressed the death of the great General Wilhelm Wilhelm Strass following a terrorist attack at his research center in the Baltic, Baltic coast last week. That was us, yeah. General Strauss was not just known for his humanitarian work and scientific discoveries, which helped the glorious Reich in its effort to liberate the world from tyranny. He was also a dear friend of the Fuhrer. While our beloved Fuhrer was visibly shaken by the tragic event, he remained characteristically determined to punish the terrorists who orchestrated the loathsome attack. Make no mistake, this is an attack on all of us, the people of the Greater Reich trying to live in peace proclaimed the Fuhrer. We will find these hateful murderers. We will hunt them down and we will put them to justice. Oh, will you? Okay, so now I gotta be... I have to be very observant because to read the notes, I have to hold. All right, well, we set traps that way, so let's go this way. Roman says, Payday only comes once a month, but as a Russian commie, I must separate it equally between everyone I know, so here's your share, Comrade Roman. Well, you're very kind, comrade, and I thank you for your generous donation. Oh, come on, I want to see the traps work. Did I not? I thought I turned on the traps. Oh, I did turn on the traps. I just didn't allow him to walk into them. Right. Frau Angle, you're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. says, cheers, Zoxworm. Been watching your vids for a few months and I was really enjoying them. I'd be a shame for me not to pay a tribute. Well, that's extremely kind. Thank you so much for watching. All right, you know what? These traps are more hazardous to me than to the Nazis. So I'm just going to turn them all off. How about that? He can't hear me coming. Hmm. 
Harvey says, meanwhile, I got my US return and I'm splurging on new PC parts. Cheers. Thanks, Plarby. Good to see you on the program. <clears throat> I know I haven't been to Discord recently. I need to get better. How do we leap over this? Up. We can't go up. That's right, we need to left. I don't want to activate traps. Ah, here we go. Clever. This is really unique. I gotta hand it to Machine Games. Putting your character in a wheelchair first thing? I've never seen that before. It's tricky. Lots of uh, wheelchair accessible ways up, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> this, is, this is great. I don't know what it is I found. I just saw the hold to inspect pop up. Soldat Oscar's note. Commandant Fisher, I know you are busy, but I think we need to have an emergency fallback plan should a terrorist attack happen. I'm sure you've seen the reports, read the articles, seen this speech General Strauss gave to the other week. I gave the other week. That insane American is wreaking havoc wherever he goes. What happens if he comes here? Is there somewhere on the ship we could take refuge? I think we must look into this Oscar. <clears throat> so, a hidden compartment on the ship where we'll find this guy? Roman! <laughs> Roman says, My great state has told me that we must not surrender to the capitalists. So, they have kindly provided an another small donation. Cheers, Comrade Roman. Give the great state my thanks. <laughs> Alright. So, we're looking for a secret compartment where... The Commandant is coming. Ooh. I think that might be where we need to go. We're gonna roll down a giant missile or torpedo. Let's check this out first. Maybe we'll find some. Yeah, that's right. Armor, I'll take it. Okay, down we go. while riding on a torpedo. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. Ooh. 
I'm covered in blood. Some of it's mine. And I maxed out. Okay. Oh, sure. This is handy, save some energy. Trauma food zig. Don't think I want to go in there. Up we go. Okay, thank you for the internal monologue, that helps. All right, uh, get on ammunition, find a way to re reverse the belt. No, that's more. Oh wait, yeah, reverse the conveyor belt. All right, belt reversed, up we go. In a minute, I wanna check for lore. Lore, lore, lore. Can we? Yeah. Throwing. Plus, press F to throw grenades. Okay. Cool. All right, so they changed the game mechanics a little bit. Thankfully, I don't have to cycle through my wheel, my mouse wheel, in order to throw grenades. That's one of the big things that kept me from using, uh, using them before. I reversed the conveyor belt, but I'm having too much fun killing Nazis down here below deck. So let's just kill them all. How about that? Roman, are you gonna keep tip, tip, tipping from your glorious state? He says, my glorious state has very kindly forced, crossed out, asked me to accept your much appreciated thanks. Cheers, comrade Roman. <laughs> Anything for the glorious state. Let's, uh, let's make things even more glorious. <laughs> A second, getting a knock on the door. Just a second.
All right. Sorry about that. Kids wanted to say goodnight. Where was I? Oh, yes, killing Nazis. Is that a Fallout Easter egg? Chrysu Rebel M Journal. We are all going to die. I can feel it. No sleep for days. Dreams have become fragmented, violent, strange. Helen's face crops up every time. Bloody. Half of it is missing. Wake up screaming. No sleep. Screw sleep. First time writing since forever. Maybe helps clear my mind. Stop talking to the others in the Chrysu resistance. Can't stand their looks, their voices. Safe? Inside the Nazis' own effing boat? Sure, Blaskowitz stole it, but, not, but how can we be sure there's no spy equipment installed somewhere? No one answers. No one thinks. Caroline said I'm being too negative. Asked me to contribute with positive energy to the cause. I said screw the cause. Humanity's done for. The Nazis won. It's over. They won. So does that mean we got a traitor? Is that how the Nazis gained access to the boat? Did this guy turn turn tail and run? So it looks like this was his bed. He was an American. <clears throat> Go back to the conveyor belt to continue. Okay. So this was just for that note. All of that was for the note. Cool. platform. Sure. Let's see what's over here. You were okay. William, I prayed for you to wake up. Roman says, save us, Ox. I sure do love crossed out. I sure do love my state. Don't be stupid. <laughs> okay. Let's get you up. You've gotten so fat. <laughs> so it says we're having twins. Not now, Kinderlach. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuzerei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. I love that guy. Smile! <laughs> Caroline. Yeah, Caroline in the super armor. Wyatt! Oh no! Ooh! No! 
so no. ein böser Junge mit einer Waffe? Loslassen! Loslassen! Not Wyatt! Sigrun, warum atmest du so schwer? Ich weiß nicht, Mutter. Ah! Das weißt She has du a daughter? <lacht> Die da! Abführen zum Verhör! Ja, Mutter. Du hast die vereinbarten Leibesübungen nicht gemacht und deine Diät nicht eingehalten. Ja, vergib mir, Mutter. Ich habe gestern ein kleines Stück Kuchen gegessen, nur ein ganz kleines... Du dumme Kuh! Du bist eine Schande für deine Rasse und für deine Familie! Das werden die Leute sagen, wenn du in eine Klinik für Fettsüchtige kommst. Eine Generalstochter! Was für eine Schande. My goodness. Los! Warte, ja, Alten! Ist nicht mal eine Backfahrt wert. Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Abwasch nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, rein, Männer! Ich lock ihn raus. Megafon. No, Wyatt! Alle Klasse! The Terrorist and Murder! William! Joseph! Blaskovich! Well, coming alone is what we're good at, but we tend to come with guns. Don't go in there, William. Well, they have our people. She trapped our vessel, Anishka. What can we do? You right, Eagle. We'll have to somehow release our U-boat once you're up there. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I got wheels, baby. Roman crosses out, they have my brother. Look, I'm not gonna go infiltrate the USSR. <laughs> That's not this game. You going to run us over with your little wheelchair? <laughs> So that's how you take it off? What a funny sight. The mastermind crawling around in her own filth. Oh. Moskovich, you're awake. What's left of me? I came for you. How are you all up, Caroline? Don't know how she found us. I fucked up somehow. She yeah, tracked us down. I fucked everything up. You think mad. your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich? What happened to your face? Reconstruction? Sieh dir noch den Krüppel! Let me tell you. You're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. <laughs> Look, everybody. <laughs> is, <laughs> is, is this how a hero looks like? <laughs> a crippled wretch of a man being in a tomb. <laughs> There's Everyone only one guy chuckling. See what a useless joke you are. Los, los. Oh. Ah, danke schön. Oh. Sie sind am Krankenhaus. Bow your head. Don't be silly. The resistance does not bow. <coughs> um, no, no. Sie gut. Sei still, ich arbeite. Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber 
Du hast gesagt, dass du sie Du hast gesagt, du machst deine Leibesübung und du wow. es auf den Zucker. Und was This haben meine Männer im Zimmer mother. gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in deinem Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. I mean, yeah, nee. she's gonna behead someone, but Nein. reading a diary? Mach schon. Befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Leg mich ab! <lacht> Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen. Oh, this is horrible! Los! Oh. Los, los! Los, los! Just like chopping wood. Los, 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 los! Stop! For God's sake, stop! Sag zu! Ich kann nicht, Mutter. Mach schon! Nein! Ich kann das nicht! Aber ein Tagebuch mit Perversion und verräterischen Worten vollschmieren. Das kannst du! Wow. Einige davon war sogar auf Englisch! Talk about la airing her dirty family laundry right in front of everyone. Wenn du aufgehst wie eine dicke, fette Seekuh! Verstehst du nicht, in was für eine Lage du mich bringst? Ich bin verpflichtet, das zu melden. Du hattest kein Recht, es zu lesen. Caroline Becker, Leader of the Chryso Circle. The criminal mastermind. Never give up, Blasco Rich. Don't die. Never Come give on. in to these people. Don't, don't kill her, please. I think not. No. I think. Don't kill either of them. And don't another. make me choose. Thank you, Roman, for the additional tip. <laughs> I'm slightly disturbed at the moment. Willst du auch ein bisschen, wie du es in deinem Tagebuch geschrieben hast, auf deine dicken, fetten Wangen? Oder vielleicht lieber hier unten, ha? What a horrible, horrible human being. But I think that's the point. Zwing mich nicht. Zwischen dir und meiner Überzeugung zu wählen. Denn du wirst verlieren. Und nun zu dir. Los! Oh, to another friend of yours, yes? Stop! No more of this! Mutter, bitte hör auf, es reicht! Aus dem Weg! Nein! Wyatt, yes! Yes! Give me those legs! Give me those legs! Come on, Wyatt! Ah, uh, come on now, we can do this! Faster, Blaz, give me this! Come on, put the suit on! Push the button! Now go after the old rod, come on, get her! Well, <laughs> two unread tutorials, grenade throwing, objectives. I mean, I think I got it. I don't need that. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, what my ears doing? Oh, Y'all right, Wyatt? What a mess. Make it kick. What? Hey, I'm no cold-blooded killer like your mom. Thank you for this. I can help you. Uh, I can give you information, military secrets. Uh, uh, I can tell you how to release your U-boat. Uh, no, so there are escape pods over there. I know the codes to open them. Hey, hey, back up. How do we release the U-boat? The door there leads to the control bay with the electromagnetic tractor arms. You can deactivate them from there and that will release your boat. Wait, you, you, you can get this door open? Yes. Thank you, lady. 
Come on, go in there, find the controller bay and release. Yeah, 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 okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Power armored, space to jump, and when it in mid-air, left control to perform a power slam. Oh, sweet. Well, I'm really, really sad that Caroline is dead. I can't believe they killed her. Keep your shit together, Wyatt. Need you to step up now. Can't believe they killed her, man. Oh. She wasn't some throwaway character. She was one of the coolest characters in this series. A lot of things you can do with a hatchet. <laughs> and a Nazi. <laughs> okay. Fire hatchet. Use your fire hatchet to break open hatches, wooden doors, and crates. <clears throat> Press middle mouse button to chop. Press middle mouse button when sneaking up behind an enemy to perform a silent takedown. Grenade throwing is F. Dual wielding is X. World objectives is G. Power armor is left control while space. All right. Weird Beard says, well, Ox is getting his power armor even in Wolfenstein. I knew we'd get this suit eventually. As soon as I saw Caroline put it on in the last game, I was thinking, yeah, that's going to be mine someday. Yes. <clears throat> Press and hold V to select weapons. Really? No scroll wheel anymore? Oh yes, the scroll. I see. Does this have a silencer? No. There's something over there. So new controls we got to get used to. Okay. They give me this little pea shooter. Oh no, more of those signals. Oh, we got to kill some officers. Like they told us back in boot camp. Take out the commanders first. I'm dead.
Roman says, <clears throat> Hello, this is Comrade Manor, Roman's replacement. We hope that he didn't cause you to worry. He will not bother you anymore. Comrade Manor. Like they taught us back in boot camp. Take out the commanders first. I could jump down there, but let's go through this way first. What is this? A door? Can't get through there. So we get the Enigma codes off of officers in this game, okay. Odin, automated security system. Maintenance workers note. Everyone, this is very important. Do not initiate the fail-safe sequence for the tracker clamps from the main control room unless you get the go-ahead from command. I had to explain to General Engel that you are not useless baboons and that you are, in fact, beneficial to the Reich. So if I see any of you idiots handling the controls again without authorization, I will personally throw you into the Atlantic. Also, stop misplacing hatchets. <laughs> Which explains why we find them all over the place. But first... They'll never silence us, says Comrade Roman. Want to get a new one? Well, hold on one minute.
Little one again. Climbed out of bed because uh, she wanted me to help her tie her dolly's shoes on. We got it taken care of. E. Maxed out. Armory. I know that's where I was. That tank looks explosive. <laughs> uh, explosive objects. Can eliminate nearby enemies or cause distractions. Small red objects like gas canisters and fire extinguishers explode when shot at by regular weapons, but large gray tanks with red caps only explode when hit by grenade shrapnel. Okay. Got myself a new exit. Blast quits, how are you gonna get to the sub? <laughs> Tell them at the sub! 
Zeit bist du vom Badkissen. Das ist Max. In der Wäsche, back and forth. Max, hoch! Max, hoch! Wir haben es! Okay, komm mal! Wir müssen uns merge schnell Yeah, Max, you missed the super chat. Success, Mr. Blazkowicz. Give me a second. He should go. He ain't good. He should go. Roman says, anyway, this was fun, but again, payday only comes once, love what you do. And as do my friends, keep it up, enjoy the tips. Comrade Roman, thank you, Comrade Roman. Caroline, I released the Eva's hammer, and I'm heading back to our people. I hate to ask, will you stick around so I can keep your wings a little longer? That's close now. Yay. Lurger Burger, the laser burger, fires high energy laser beams that can overheat thin sheets of metal until they melt. Metal marked with the yellow chevrons indicate it can be dissolved. The laser worker can only reload at a charging station. Okay. I see. Cool. work on people. Love it. Now to loot the spoils. Why ox you don't aim? Why aim when you've got this?
You know what? I think I'll keep that weapon. One officer down. One more to go. If I can find him. There he is. Oh, no! Oh, no, I missed an... There we go. Don't want to miss an enigma piece. Okay. Woo. They make you so slow. Okay, that's the one that I punched earlier. Hey, what's your name? Oh, they're there. Up in. Hey, they have to go. There we go. Hold up.
Look! We have a strategy! Caroline had a plan! Now, to liberate the United States of America! To free the U.S. and use it as a platform to liberate the rest of the world! And this is what we are going to do! For Caroline! And what about this one? Can we trust her? Hello. <laughs> Give her a chance, I guess. I, she saved my life. She saved Captain Blaskowitz, too. Now. Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance group in New York City. Now, we need to Do you find allow this blacks on board? To our cause. We need to make <gasps> oh my god. US How did that man get in here? No. Everyone is allowed on this boat. Fight. Except Nazis. A bonafide war again. There you go, Mr. That's right. Marcus. And our first priority is to set course for New York and... Depth charges! <laughs> Well, oh, it just keeps on coming. Station. <laughs> I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. It's from our angle. How in the world is she tracking us? Someone inside your U-boat is transmitting your position. What did you say? The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone in your boat. That's how we found you. That's impossible. Section F. No way. Uh, there it is, Section F. <laughs> but there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there's no door there. Uh, what if there is? What if someone is hiding in there transmitting that signal, huh? Cap, uh -oh. you assemble a team and investigate. It's the we'll guy the whose diary we Must found in his here. bed. Move this locker. Look at that. Astonishing. Man, that armor is so sick. What do you see? It's welded shut from the other side. Higgle it! Take this! Wyatt came up with a basic concept. The design is not ay ay ay, it's experimental, but it will be very useful. Does this end kill Nazis? Oh, enthusiastically so. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I will open this. When you are done, big man. Well, that's great. But you know what? It's time. Alright, so I'm having fun. I think I'm glad I did this. Um... Maybe I'll get disappointed later, but at the moment, I'm, I don't understand all, uh, all of the messages I got saying that it was a disappointing game. So far, I'm, I'm having a really good time. Roman with another tip says, and here's something for all the tryhards. F. Well, thank you very much. Man, Roman was on fire today. And all of the other big tips today. Wow, lots of really uh, wonderful people on the stream today. Thank you so much. Okay, well... Uh, that was a blast. It's 9.22. We're 20 minutes l late uh, to end the broadcast, but we sure had a whole lot of fun. So tune in next week, same ox time, same ox channel for part two of Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. We will, of course, have the Q&A at the beginning of the program and scotch and cigars, as we always do. Expect some Fallout 3 videos this weekend. And Friday, tomorrow, is another live stream of Fallout 76. We will continue with Fallout 76 until Metro Exodus comes out. When Metro Exodus comes comes out we will switch and I don't even know if I'll do lore videos while playing Metro if I like Metro Exodus a lot I may just uh, do a, an entire week of live streaming Metro Exodus so maybe give me your thoughts in the comments of this video upload if that's something you're interested in either way we're going to have a great time and I'm really glad that you were here with me today well anyway fan I have a fantastic Thursday night get some sleep I'm going to do a little bit of work on some of my lore videos for the weekend and then I'm going to crash with the family at, at, to get the rest I need for my, my live stream tomorrow morning have a wonderful night Roman with another tip, comrade. Goodbye, comrade, says Roman. Goodbye, comrade. And uh, you guys have a fantastic night. Thanks again for coming. <laughs>